from his 2-0 Pine Creek, paying a visit to Echo Park to take on 4-0 Legend. Picking a fourth quarter tie to 14, the Titans driving. QB Kaylee Shoemaker drops back, fires over the middle of the Jackson Brush, and Brush brushes off two defenders. He's in for the score. Titans take a 21-14 lead. The Eagles, though, with the response. Josiah Roy with the QB keeper. So all Pine Creek needs to do is hit the extra point. We go to overtime, right? Of course not, because that doesn't happen. Extra point right here, going to be no good. Then Legend going to recover the onside kick as the Titans and Pine Creek, their first loss of the year, 21 to 20. Let's head down to Dutch as Pueblo East hosting Durango in part one of a double header. Uh, the Eagles sporting those sharp bumblebee unis. We start with first quarter, no score. He's getting into the end zone first. Jackson Herring on the keeper to give the Eagles the 7 0 lead. But Durango right back saying, whatever you can do, I can do better. Jordan, Jordan Wolverton on the design QB run, punches it in as the Demons tie it up at seven. Then after an East three and out, Durango not changing the game plan because why should they? Wolverton again, touchdown as the Demons drive away with this one. Final 45 to 20. Now the second half of a rare doubleheader at Dutch is Pueblo Central hosting Lewis Palmer. Midway through the first after the Rangers are grinded out downfield, Jake Kinsley runs the hardest ever two yards you'll ever see to give the Rangers a 6-0 lead. Late in the first after a Wildcat turnover, LP back at it again. This time Chris Mills with the 50-50 ball to Cameron Lowe. He uses that size to come down with the eight yard touchdown. Rangers up 12 nothing. Central trying to find some momentum in this game and score on fourth down. Riley Roth with the home run ball gets picked off by Brecken Davis. Rangers going to roll in this one, 23 to 13. Let's head down a little more south as Pueblo County hosting Pueblo Centennial in a windy affair. But it wouldn't stop the Hornets air attack. Chase Hartman with the rocket to Bryce Vigil for the easy pitch and catch touchdown. 7-0 County. Then after a Bulldog 3 and out, Hornets on the attack again. But the fumble on the handoff as Centennial's Troy Silver with the scoop. He would be taken down to the 10, but the Bulldogs would fumble on their ensuing drive. So County gets the ball back, and it's the senior, Ethan Mauger, on the pitch. He breaks through the Bulldog defense off to the races. 75-yard touchdown. County runs away with this one just like that. 48 to 6. Let's roll right back up to the Springs. A clash at CA Foster between the Grizz and Mesa Ridge and Air Academy Cadets. Pick it up first quarter. Mesa Ridge up 13 zip and adding to it. Cash Cheeks cashing it in as he hits pay dirt. He's in for the score. Grizz up 21 0. Then in the second quarter, Mesa Ridge adding to their lead. Nico Allgood saying, Hey, it's all good, fam. I got you. Weaves through the Cadet defense for the long score. This fan, you'll see him in a second. Love it, all that Grizz touchdown. They shut out the Air Academy Cadets 65 to nothing. And our final game from our afternoon slate, Discovery Canyon hosting Niwad at Don Breeze. A sloppy game to start for the Thunder. DCC in the red zone. Trevin Alicio throwing the pick in the end zone as the Cougars Easton Leatherwood bringing it out to the 15-yard line. Nothing would come of the turnover. Then later, the Thunder trying again for the score. This time on the ground, it works to perfection. Aiden Emmons for the TD as DC, DCC drops the Thunder in their shutout win 